Welcome to the online service for Timonium United Methodist Church. We are so glad that you joined us this day, whenever you watch it, morning, noon, evening, or night, and wherever you watch this, from just around the corner or around the world. We are so honored to be able to offer this service to you, a service of worship of our Lord Jesus Christ. We ask that you share this message with everyone. It is part of our statement of our mission here at Timonium, that we celebrate God's love, share it with everyone, and make disciples of Christ. Our call to worship today begins with make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord who made us is God. We are the Lord's. We are the people of God, the sheep of God's pasture. Enter God's gates with thanksgiving and God's courts with praise. Give thanks and bless God's name, for the Lord is good. God's steadfast love endures forever. God's faithfulness to all generations. Our opening prayer today comes from a very familiar hymn. We're not going to sing it. We are going to recite it as a group. As we bow our heads and pray, I come with joy to meet my Lord, forgiven, loved, and free. In awe and wonder to recall his life laid down for me. And thus with joy we meet our Lord, his presence always near is in such friendship better known, we see and praise him here. And all God's people said, Amen. Our first scripture today comes from Hebrews 13, verses one through six. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers. For by doing that, some have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember those who are in prison as though you were in prison with them. Those who are being tortured as though you yourselves were being tortured. Let marriage be held in honor by all and let the marriage bed be kept undefiled for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Our second reading today comes from the letter of Philippians, chapter two, verses 19 through 30. I hope in the Lord Jesus Christ to send Timothy to you soon, so that I may be cheered by news of you. I have no one like him who will be genuinely concerned for your welfare. All of them are seeking their own interests not those of Jesus Christ. But Timothy's worth, you know, how like a son with a father, he has served me in the work of the gospel. I hope therefore to send him as soon as I can see how things go with me. And I trust in the Lord that I will also come soon. Still, I think it is necessary to send you Epaphroditus your brother and co-worker and fellow soldier, your messenger and minister to my need. 
for he has been longing for all of you and has been distressed because you heard that he was ill and he was indeed so ill he nearly died but God had mercy on him and not only on him but on me also so that I would not have one sorrow after another I am the more eager to send him therefore in order that you may rejoice with him again and that I may be less anxious. Welcome him then in the Lord with all joy and honor such people because he came close to death for the work of Christ, risking his life to make up for those services that you could not give me. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.